Hi, I'm Peter Bint from Hashtag Daily K. Enjoy Show and Tell with Bomb Lee, which airs in hour number two on a Monday. What's trending in Korea these days? Learn about the latest trends and popular items sweeping the peninsula. On Show and Tell with Bomb. With the big band music, we've got Bomb in the studio Hello. on a Monday morning. You've got your big coffee there with yes. you. You're looking very summery right. as well, Bomb. I need to go surfing right away. Oh, can like, you literally. surf? Uh, I did learn it like twice. Oh, nice. Yes. Did you get to like stand up on the board? Uh-huh, of course. Wow. You I know, have a good balance. I've always been a bit worried. I've never tried. Never about... tried. You should. It's Be- great. Because I was terrible on the skateboard when I was little uh, as well. I could never stand up on a skateboard. So I, I thought... I actually mm. haven't tried skateboard, but it might be a little different since you're doing it on water. It must be, yeah. right? There mm-hmm. must be differences. Would you say it was tricky or... Not too bad? Uh, not too bad, because I love swimming. Maybe that's why. I oh, love the water. You just want to be in the water. Yes. You're a fish at heart, I'm Bob. I'm a fisher. And you are going on holiday straight after the show. I mentioned yes. to our listeners that your daughter is here. I was surprised to see her for a start. She's so cute and adorable. She's very caught up on her YouTube right now. She didn't even say bye when I was coming in the studio, but yeah. she is there. She is there. Yes. She didn't say hello to me. She looked at me as well, and then she was like, I'm watching my YouTube. And you know, before yeah. I had kids, I would have been like, no, you got to say hello to me. But now I have kids. I know. Uh-huh. Kids don't want to say hello to some random stranger adult. She's a little bit embarrassed because, you know, it's a very new environment for her. She wanted to come up with me. Oh, so yeah. she insisted. Yeah, she insisted. Aww. She's like, take me with you, Mom. Oh, that's so cute. (laughs) And she's just sitting there ever so quiet. And I know, you know, parents and people are sometimes critical about smartphones and kids, Mm -hmm. but they are magic, right? They They can keep children occupied. When I was younger, if your mum took you to work, you wouldn't Uh have anything to do. You'd just start whinging and moaning and crying. Yeah, (laughs) that (laughs) happens. It's amazing. Have you had a good week, Bomb, since we last saw you? Been up to Um, anything interesting? I had a good week, but my kids were a little sick. Oh, no. Yes, with the summer diseases going on, like... Every summer. Oh, like anything in particular, a cold or um, stomach ache? Or... Cold plus, and it's called, I don't know like the exact term in English, but yeah. it's called hands, mouth, and oh, feet disease. Uh, the yeah. sujoku. What is it's, that called? Foot and mouth. It's I, literally like that, right? I think, yeah, sujoku in uh-huh. Korean, which I think is just foot and mouth. Foot and mouth. In English, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. I believe so. That They had a quite high fever. Oh. And my little one is a little bit sicker. Do they have some rashes as yes, well? Yes, they have some rashes. I remember my kids when they were younger. Mm-hmm. You would maybe see it on their feet at yeah, first. Yeah, on their feet. And, and then, then on no. their th- Throat, yeah. their hands. Okay, but they're, they're ready they're to They're getting go on, better. Go on yes. holiday. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. All right. I uh, hope you enjoy your time. I think it must be perfect weather, like hot, yeah, sunny. Hot. But we're planning on just to stay in the hotel. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> in the resort, there's a swimming pool? There's a swimming pool. You and like the room else. is the kids' themed room, so <gasps> we're not going anywhere. Mommy and daddy can rest. Kids yeah. can have fun as well. Mm-hmm. That sounds amazing. Uh, Rao's saying, I've got good balance too, but I've never tried surfing. Try it out, Try Rao. it out, sir. Well, I think this in, summer. in Argentina, yeah, there are some probably. amazing waves in mm-hmm. certain parts, maybe too big sometimes. Uh, Leon says the Adirang Nursery Child Care Centre set up by Bomb a few weeks ago already in operation. <laughs> oh, because of the baby items you yeah, brought. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you should have left them here. We could have had a nursery. I just need a phone for my first kid. Right? There you go. Yeah, <laughs> phone for first kid, baby items for the second uh-huh. one. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, Bomb, I've mentioned to our listeners a hint for today's trend, saying up is the direction we need to think about. So I don't know what everyone's thinking. Maybe they're thinking planes or flying or stuff <laughs> like that, but it's nothing quite like that. It's nothing quite like it, but it does contain the word up. Okay, up, up, so up. I wasn't lying completely, mm-hmm. right? What are we talking about with a word that contains up, a phrase? Uh, we are going to talk about up. Cycling today. Upcycling. Up Boom not, in Korea. Not riding a bicycle uphill. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> We're talking about the word recycle yes. with up 
instead. Mm-hmm. Upgrade plus recycle ah, is upcycling. Is that what it's combining with? I knew yeah. it was recycling, but mm-hmm. I just thought up meant you know going or improving or something. Yeah, upgrade. upgrade. Yes, ah, that makes There sense. So that's a big trend at the moment. Uh, it is a big trend, like worldwide, since mm-hmm. we're very environmentally conscious these days. Uh-huh. With you know, in, um, uh, summer heating and everything, that CO two, yeah, with Earth, you know, very dying. Yeah, because of air conditioning. Mm-hmm. I was explaining to my kids, like we're actually making the world hotter. By yes. turning on air conditioning, and my that's son true. was like, well, "That doesn't make sense." And mm-hmm. I was like, "Yeah, well, that's humans for you, <laughs> the human race." Yeah, so it's an effort for us to actually use these plastics. There's a amount of you know plastic all around the world mm. that we're consuming and that we're throwing away. So we're taking these plastics to make it into a better item, a mm. new item. So that's the difference between recycling and upcycling. You want to improve or upgrade that yes. item, so it might have been thrown in the bin, but instead you're turning it into something more useful. Yes, than it originally exactly. Was. So with the discarded plastic, for example, maybe not even plastic, but maybe like clothes, mm-hmm. you're gonna take um, some fabrics that were thrown away. Yeah, and then you're gonna make maybe make it into a quilt, or you can make it into a bag, Ooh. or make it into a new design. Yeah. Anything like that. Yeah, we've talked about upcycling from time to time on the show. Never done a big deep dive like this, but mm-hmm. there are amazing things. Like I think it was. Asiana, the airline, they might have made like pouches and laptop cases out of old uniforms from oh, staff. Cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it looked really amazing. Um, we've got a video from you, Bom, as well. Yes. What is? What are we going to watch here? Uh, we're going to watch. I went to a local um, e mart. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Mart. That's really big. Yeah. Owned by a very big, large conglomerate in Korea, and they had. Uh, sites of upcycling here and there, so I took a look and showed, like, looked at what it's really like. Oh, so in the marts they have some kind of upcycling things. Yes. All right, here's the video. What are we looking at here? It's called Kapu. Oh, oh we got your lovely little music there. Yeah. <laughs> so you can bring in your. Plastics, maybe you know, plastic containers that you don't use or uh-huh. that you already use, and you're gonna put it in that box. Oh, okay, and then they're gonna recycle or upcycle it into things like these. Yes, the tumblers. Uh huh. That's actually like a vase or a oh, container. Oh, I see. So... <laughs> don't put your coffee in there. <laughs> That's not a tumbler. Oh. But you know, that was a very big cosmetic brand in Korea. Okay, and that was interesting because that. Cosmetic brands is very known to be environmental. Okay. They have a lot of interest, and they were actually asking the con- consumers to bring in the containers that already use, and they were like their makeup containers. Their makeup containers. Ah. And what's smart about them is that they were giving out points. If you it was them like three hundred points if you bring in the container, oh. so you can use it when you're buying their new products. That is good. And with the containers that they actually um, got from their customers, they made special gifts like that, like that, the plant pot, mm-hmm. oh. collaborating with a very famous upcycling brand. Ah, that was a collaboration yes. project. That's interesting. Yeah, I've seen a lot of um, clothing stores these days mm-hmm. have a bin in their store where you can put in old clothes, yeah. and then they'll recycle or upcycle mm-hmm. or do something like that. That's very clever. And I know a few other cosmetics brands. The one from the UK, uh, I guess to make it just educational, lush. Lush, <laughs> yes. They've always had this thing where you take like three yes. of their empty uh-huh. containers and they'll give you like a freebie exactly. or something. Yeah. So it's a big trend worldwide, and a lot of big companies are jumping into this trend too. We mm. have like SK Hynix made in Rebud, and they're producing bags and pouches from. Discarded uniforms, school oh. uniforms, which is interesting. Oh right? wow! Yeah, because uh, not too many schools even wear uniforms here. Well, elementary ones, elementary, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Ah, but like middle and high schoolers, yes. their old uniforms, mm-hmm. and oh. also, oh, not their like 
school. Oh, yeah, school uniform. Maybe their team uniform too, ah, right? Ah, okay. They have, like sports. Yeah, stuff. sports stuff. Okay. And also, we have like fashion brands called Recode, and they're make they're making sweatshirts, shoes, socks using fabric from unsold stock, which is really good because you know I know that they all burn away the un. Um, <gasps> You know the unsold stock. Really? Yes, that's they, what they I. They usually burn it. They burn it. Oh my goodness! Why don't yeah. they just give it to people? <laughs> right. I'd, I'd take it if it was free. And they do this on purpose, like in luxury brands, oh. in order to sort of limit their stock. That's sure. What, yes. They don't want it going out cheap to uh-huh. like cheapen so their brand. Happens. That's terrible. Yes. And what happens if then? They've used the fabrics to make new products. What if they don't sell? <laughs> and then they're going to upcycle again and again forever. Who Maybe, knows? Yeah, who knows? I haven't oh, thought dear. about that, but that could happen. Yeah. Right? I, I hope that they're all being genuine in their efforts. It isn't just like a marketing thing or because yeah. customers like uh-huh. upcycling, right? Welcome to Arirang Radio. If you are in Jeju... 88.7 in Jeju City. 88.1 in Sogipu City. 101.9 in the Daejeong area. We're back for part two with Bomb Show and Tell. We got items to show you and tell you about, all under the theme of upcycling today. Um, Rao saying, "Oh, so it's kind of like recycling clothes to maybe do something else with them." Yeah, like Bomb said, the kind yes. of point is to take that product. I guess in the case of clothes turned into like bags and stuff. When the clothes are old, then the bag will be better than old clothes. That's not, true. Not yeah. necessarily better than the original, like mm-hmm. brand new bit of clothing. But and to make design it wise, you can sort of collaborate with, uh, take pieces of different fra- fabrics. Oh, and then you can make it into a new design. So it's yeah. sort of like DIY. Oh, right? okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good way to understand it. Steve saying it's almost like bringing empty printer ink cartridges. That was done from ages ago. That that well, I'm not sure if that's upcycling. Though. Yeah, that's, that's probably more recycling, recycling, isn't yes. it? Steve, that's completely wrong. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Thank you for your but message. We will be explaining the difference between recycling and upcycling okay. soon. Um, we have a message from Siska. Says says anyway. In the past, yes, I usually bring back the empty cosmetic bottles to the store. But now after COVID, not anymore. I'm confused where to throw away those now. Yeah, COVID really Really kind of threw a spanner in the works. Because I remember during COVID, I tried to use my Tumblr at a few cafes Mm -hmm. and they were like, no, we can't accept that during COVID because of like germs and stuff. And that kind of ruined the flow that we were going Mm -hmm. through. So I think some people are quite confused as to what's allowed, what's not allowed at the minute. That's true. It does have sort of a two-sided aspect because of COVID. Mm. Some people got more conscious of plastic because, you know, the waste and plastic that were generated (sighs) with delivery food. And people were amazed about like how much plastics they were consuming. Yeah, because we're good at recycling here in Korea. So we like separate our stuff. And I was actually really, I don't know, in a terrible way shocked Mm -hmm. at how much plastic I took out every week. I know, every week. I have these huge plastic bags where I put in plastic and I must take out maybe two or three a week, like bigger than people almost. (laughs) And I'm like, what are we doing? We have so many like delivery food and everything else. Yeah. Because it's a very delivered, you know, easy, convenient society. (laughs) That's Mm -hmm. what Korea is all about, which is great on the one hand. But yeah, for the environment, maybe not so much. I saw in your script earlier, they were talking about more than 900 million disposable straws were used during During the pandemic. During COVID, yes. And at cafes. That's just 19 major cafes and fast food chains, mm-hmm. right? It not did change because we're using um, paper straws now yeah. at, at most of, I guess, most of cafes. You're right. right. A lot of plastic straws have disappeared. I will say this, though. Like, the paper straws, when they get soggy. I hate it. <laughs> oh, to they? be honest. So yes. we, we need to be inconvenienced to save the world. It's not That's easy, true. right? It's all our fault. It is indeed. <laughs> um, Aaron also saying, it's so interesting that they burn clothes for name brands that have too much so- stock. Yeah, that happens. You know, like <sighs> VC brand, the H brand, oh you know, the, goodness, the L brand. The proper luxury yes. ones. Mm-hmm, the proper 
cover. That's sure, terrible. That's... Why don't they just give them away, be nice to charity and or something? And then they, you know, they always, every year, they're um, hiring up their prices. Yeah. Yeah, that right? happens. That's not fair. That's that not isn't okay. Fair. And then they're throwing it away <sighs> on their right. back. Let's calm down. Yeah, let's we, calm down. We can't down. solve it right now, right here. Um, in terms of like upcycling then, what are, what are some other examples then that we could think of? Uh, we were talking about fashion or uh, food, which mm-hmm. is very unique. I didn't know there was food upcycling, but we are going to tell and show about food. I did bring in some examples. Oh, that is upcycled food? Yes, it's upcycled snacks. Wait, so (laughs) there was some kind of food originally that has been upcycled into this? Um, uh, I guess this concept. So, like, since we're talking about this, let's go with this first. So, this snack is made up of, it says, (sighs) 못난이살. So, you know, we throw away those not ugly rices. Okay. You know? Yes. We've talked about monani like ugly cheso, like potatoes vegetables. that yeah. we're reselling, right? Okay. So, those parts of certain, you know, food will be discarded anyways. Ah. So, they're going to use this as to make a upcycled snack. So, this is made with ugly rice. Yes, it's can, made can of ugly rice. Can we try it then? Let's try it. You know, the because <laughs> we want to give our listeners the description. It's not because right. we're hungry or not anything like that. No, we're hungry, but we just want to make sure that upcycled snacks are as good as just okay, so normal look, snacks. Looks too. like a rice cracker in the West, but with different mm-hmm. colours of grains as well. Maybe part of the ugliness. Give it a try, Bomb. Does it taste like it's been upcycled? Mm-mm-mm. It is quite salty. Oh, that's delicious. It is good. That's really good. And mm-hmm. here it says X-Cycle. What is X-Cycle? Is that another brand maybe or marketing thing? It's, oh, I see oh, on the, the back. The brand name is X-Cycle. It says Exciting Upcycle. Oh, X-Cycle cool. is so what they've the come brand. up with making these upcycled food. Those are delicious. And to be honest, yeah, with ugly rice, if it's turned into like a chip, Mm -hmm. you're never going to know. You're never going to know, right? Those are so good, Bob. All right, just one (laughs) more for research purposes. So they do have three different flavors. This is, oh, this is made out of, oh, I guess just the same ugly rice. Ugly rice with a different flavor. Yes. I've not seen these in the supermarket, so are these available now? These were only available at um, the O brand, the cosmetic brand. Oh. But then, because the sales were good, they now put it in the big E brand too. Really? Yes. That's amazing. So having these kind of environmentally conscious snacks, Mm -hmm. and they've got that flavor as well over there. So this is hot and spicy, says protein, basak chip in English, basak meaning crunchy. Oh, this is truffle. Truffle flavor. Wow. Wow. And these are all... Yeah, Fancy, high, high right? protein, so good for your health. It is great for your health. And the environment at the same mm-hmm. time. That's so clever, isn't high it? High in protein and fiber. So wow. I'm not sure if they can get it you know, overseas, mm-hmm. but when you do see this, it's if you want snacks, why don't you just try upcycle tracks for of the course. sake, right? Yeah, if you had the choice of the two, why mm-hmm. not choose that? Because taste-wise, there's it's no the difference. Same. Yeah, great. Uh, in terms of in Seoul, there is a place that you can go to really concentrate on upcycling. Yes, yeah, so this shows how much we are very conscious about the environment and the upcycling boom. We have the world's largest upcycling cultural complex space in Seoul. Really? I did not know the that. The world's largest? Yes, it's the world's largest. I guess because it's quite new. It is quite new. There's not too many competitors. In 2017. <laughs> okay. So they have a place called Seoul Upcycling Plaza in Songdonggu. I mm. think Songdong, like Songsu area, they're uh, really trying new things in that area a lot of new companies you know hip innovative and trendy. yes hip and trendy innovative companies there so this is the place you might want to visit if you're really into upcycling or if you want to learn about environment wow so they actually have a vision the sole um vision is resource recycling soul vision in 2000 
2030, by 2030. Uh-huh. So it aims to raise environmental and social and economic awareness of upcycling and to establish an environment for upcycling-based industries. It, it's been on Arirang News as well. I can see a clip on YouTube here. <laughs> and I've been... Have not, you been there? Not inside because it was mm-hmm. closed, but it looks like a trendy like art gallery from outside. It does look very trendy and it's super big. Yeah, it's uh, like a whole series of different like shaped squares and oblong buildings put together. Yeah. And it's just opposite the, oh, I think it was the water purifying center, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. And that's where we were going with the kids. And then we noticed that place, but we couldn't go in. Oh, in Songsu, there's a yeah. water purifying center there too. Right next to it. So you can take in both of these. And that mm-hmm. was a really fun museum to see what happens to the water once it gets flushed down the toilet. And all Yeah, sorts. I was looking at their website and I really wanted to take my kids here because they also have like upcycling academies oh. and they can actually make their own upcycling gold products there like interactive yes interactive and they have a dream factory and upcycling flea market does open Ooh, from time to times and they cool. also have soul upcycling festival oh wow i'm not sure when the festival is but yeah, we should maybe talk about that on yeah, k stream once we it should. comes around we'll let you know the information but they are really putting an effort to really save the world and I was actually, before I did, I went to E-Mart, um, uh-huh. there's a similar center in Gwangmyeong. Oh, really? You know, Gwangmyeong for the big, they have a big cave. And yeah. that's actually an upcycled place too. Ah, we so, talked about that being like a mine during the yeah, Japanese occupation. Uh-huh. So in terms of housing, you can actually see that as an upcycling architecture or housing. Yeah. So near there, they have a Gwangmyeong upcycled center. Oh, so, my plan was to go there and they uh-huh. have like galleries and it's very similar to the Seoul Upcycling Plaza. Yeah. And because of, you know, the traffic being <laughs> for the cave, yeah. I'm going to go there. Ah, uh, on the weekends, especially yes. that place gets Crazy. really busy. The cave, though, is, is fantastic. I do recommend it. Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Estamos escuchando Arirán Radio desde Buenos Aires, Argentina. Where are you listening from? Let us know. Leave it at arirangradio.com. Talking all about upcycling on the show today with Bomb in Show and Tell. We've showed you and we've eaten the snacks that Bomb <laughs> kindly brought in. Uh, Ying Yin has got in touch from Malaysia saying, I recycled some plastic bottles at an event and got these gifts, oh, including... A uh, bag I see there, and then a succulent plant in a used plastic bottle as well. In the next photo, there you can see it. Oh, oh that's cute. That's right? upcycling a plastic mm-hmm. bottle into a cool little vase, I that's suppose. That's really easy to do uh, like at home, right? Yeah. As a DIY. But one thing that I guess is a word of warning... You mm-hmm. can't do that with all your bottles, right? Yeah. Every plastic bottle you get, you turn into a vase. Your house will be like a forest or a jungle or something like that. Uh, you got some messages to read as well, Bob? Yes, I have a message from Lee and Teo. It says the new S brand flip and fold phones have a wider variety of recycled materials than their previous generations. Oh, Ooh, cool. Including pre consumer recycled glass and aluminum and post consumer recycled plastics sourced from discarded fishing nets water barrels and pet bottles oh that's great in our phones yeah i didn't know that upcycled material yeah aaron says i just searched upcycling festival in seoul and i found they've got a building and upcycle car event i'm wondering what kind of car that is surely not a driver car so you would build that with old materials that's amazing yeah whoa that is really cool i'm guessing not to be sold to regular consumers but still that's cool yeah that is cool Uh, another message from steve says we can now help the environment by doing our part in snacking (laughs) yes this is my favorite part you know i love upcycled food absolutely and yeah steve i guess we need to be conscious though like that tastes great but I was mm-hmm. telling Bomb in the song break, like when I go to the convenience store or supermarket, there's loads of other more stimulating brands that, that are not upcycled. Mm-hmm. So you got to remember, I should buy that. Yeah, I you shouldn't have to buy be something very else. Conscious. Do it, yeah. Lenny says people make it into a business, you know, buying plastic paper and iron from people here in Indonesia, and then they resell it to a bigger company to upcycle or recycle. Mm-hmm. That's quite common. 
Yeah, some people in Korea, you'll often see older people maybe picking up yeah, cardboard. Yeah, I was going to say that right? too. Cardboard, that's for recycling yeah, purposes. Not usually upcycling, mm-hmm. right? And then they'll get paid a small fee or something like that. Yeah. Um, we've got another item maybe mm-hmm. to show in the studio first because we don't want to not show that. That's an ice pack, isn't it? It's an ice pack. So a lot of ice packs comes in, you know, paper uh-huh. and they just have water in it for environmental purposes. Mm-hmm. And what's special about this brand's ice pack is this is made from sugar cane. The oh. material itself. And it does only have water. So wow. you just want to throw out the water without, you know, harming the environment. That's amazing. But I'm guessing, though, and I can see here, yeah, it says pinilu. Mm-hmm. So when you're recycling this, though, you have to throw it away with all the other vinyl plastic bags anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But that it's made from not, like, harmful plastics mm-hmm. or whatever, from sugar cane. Yeah. I guess that's pretty cool. And yeah. I think it's better for the brands to use water instead of the gel, I guess. The vast majority now, yeah, right, are just using majority. water. Uh-huh. Whereas before, you'd have to throw it all away together. These ones, you can just throw away the water yeah. and down the drain or down the sink or mm-hmm. whatever. And we do use a lot of ice packs in Korea for food deliveries, yes. right? So that is, is great. And I, I don't know, that's cool, but... Like you mentioned earlier, some come in paper. They do come in paper. And I, I just feel that paper is more recyclable. Me too. I, I don't know. That's just a mental thing, isn't <laughs> it? Um, we've got some other interesting items to show. What's this first one, Bomb? The first one is bag. Ooh, that's really pretty. Bag <laughs> made out of rice bag. Salpote. Yeah, because right? we buy our rice, if you in don't like know. like 10 kilos that does come out in those kind of bags. Yeah, like really thick cardboard or mm-hmm. not cardboard. Not cardboard. Car- it's woven. Paper. Woven paper. Woven paper. There yes. we go. And so it's really sturdy material. Mm-hmm. And they've been upcycled into these amazing these are, bags. Ooh. Wow, we're showing them on the video stream. If you're not watching to describe, they're kind of like golden. uh, And you can see the texture of the kind of paper or the wovenness there. But Mm -hmm. that looks kind of fashionable. That does kind of look fashionable. Wow. Uh, Next up. Next up is uh, those are discarded, you know, flashcards or big banners oh, that, that we, we have for use. like politicians yes, and stuff for like that. Yes, for politicians or maybe for ads <laughs> and that we're going to make it into a sandbag. Oh, those are sandbags. Yes, sandbags. Ah, to like stop flooding and yes. things like that. Mm-hmm. That's clever. That is really clever. That... I like those kind of upcycling, giving it a, you know, we're sort of remaking it and reboarding these materials and using it as a good purpose. Yeah, I mean, the fashionable stuff, that's great, mm-hmm. but not really too much meaning <laughs> compared to this. You compared know, to this, Where yes. you may be saving someone's home or it something like meaningful. that. It is very meaningful. With a sandbag. What a great idea that is. That is a great is. idea. Uh, and then the third one. And the third one is, this is uh, the big SM um, Entertainment. Uh-huh. They were collaborating with an upcycling brand and all their, you know, uh, singers were wearing that kind of shirt in their concerts. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, apparently, I think what it says is that they used the outfits that singers wore on stage. Oh, and that... Upcycled those. Upcycled those fabrics. Wow. That is crazy. That is cool and very meaningful, but, right? But wouldn't fans want the actual original, like, whatever they wore on stage as, like, a souvenir or something? the singers, you know, and the celebrities, they have a big power. Uh-huh. So probably they wanted to bring up, like, the consciousness the of upcycling. Mm-hmm. Oh, those are pretty cool little nifty t-shirts with, like, some logos on them. You would never know that those were upcycled yeah. at all. I was looking up, like... Phone cases that were upcycled, and it was oh, so pretty. Really? Yeah, I wanted to buy it, but they didn't have. Most of them were the iPhone brands, uh-huh. but it was really pretty. That's cool. You would never know it was upcycled. Yeah, I guess now we've got enough material out there. We don't mm-hmm. need to use like new plastic and new oil and stuff. That's we true. could just recycle and upcycle what we have. Mm-hmm. I reckon that would last a long time, but I guess. Corporations that rely on using new, like, plastic or new things, they might yeah, not want it. Yeah, they might not want it, but, you know, they do need to understand that this is a new, not even, 
not just a trend, but it's a way to I guess save the world. Yeah. And you know, as a big company, they need to do their responsibility, right? Yeah. And the MZ Socially. generation mm-hmm. apparently are really conscious of that. They right? are conscious. They won't buy if they think it's ethically wrong. Or yeah. They will way prefer all mm-hmm. the more conscious brands out there. Yes, and you know, while I was doing research, and we don't really have the space to discard all these plastics, so mm. they're throwing it away to the ocean. Yeah. So that's why you know, Emart was putting up that big plastic bin thing uh-huh. to save the ocean. Yeah, we all need to do our part, and if brands help us to do that, then we can all survive. And the big brands that maybe are slow or reluctant to change, they need to remember: if there's no planet Earth, there'll be no more customers for them yes. either. They won't exist. Uh, Bomb. That was a really meaningful, meaningful show. Yeah, show and tell. Let's feel finish good about off it. with some more research. Bomb. Okay, eating mm-hmm. another snack for for our listeners. This is for your benefit. So when you go to the supermarket. Just be conscious that to buy an upcycled snack yeah. once for all, and bring these every single week. Bob. Thank you <laughs> so, so much. Uh, have a great holiday, Thank and we'll see you again that. next Monday. Bye bye. That was show and tell with Bomb Lee airing in hour number two every Monday on hashtag Daily Cake.